Hello everybody! This video will show you one of the best items you need in order to hunt like a pro in Red Dead Redemption. I will speak about the unique item called the Ancient Arrowhead that will have the stamina you usually use while aiming the bow. You might notice that the stamina consumption is too fast while aiming the bow, and this can be a problem if you want to preserve the quality of a skin if you find a 3 star animal. It's already hard to get 3 star pelt, because you need to shoot animals in the right spot with the right arrow. Plus, if the stamina run out, you will miss the shot, that can also scare the animal as well, making you lose time. Plus, if your stamina consumption is lower, you will find it easier to hunt big animals like bisons. Hey, before diving deep in this guide, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe and turn on the notification in order to receive all new guides like this. Back to the topic, in order to obtain this item it will take you near one hour making a secret quest called the Dream Coachers. How the mission brief says you have to find all the Dream Coachers in the wild that reveal the secret within. To start the quest is enough to find one of the 20 of them spread out in the area between Valentine and One Horn. Let's see where you can find them all. The first, you find it on northwest from the Flatneck station above the crossroad. To see it, you must go above the hill near the road and search for a leafless tree. The second is under the Valentine, on the left, respect to Caliban's seat. This one is nearby the crossroad, on the road going to the left. Once you're in the right location, you can see a loneliness stone, from which you need to reach the edge of the forest, where you will find the tree with the dream culture. The third is located under the first E of Valentine name on the map. From the main road you can see a secondary one that going through the forest. Here at the beginning of the left of this road you will find the dream culture tree nearby a chopped tree. The fourth is situated northwest from the Valentine between the west text of Grizzly's West and the Cattail Pond. From the main road you have to start climbing the mountain, where you find a boulder nearby the road. Next, on the snow cross road you have to take the left and immediately you will recognize the dream coach tree that is the higher and the leafless one. The fifth is on the north from Valentine, in the middle of the road going from west text of Grizzly West and the Window Rock. Here you will find a small cliff with one side made of rock and another of terrain, upside which you will find the dream coach's tree. The sixth is on the north from Fort Valence between Katora Springs and the Bacchus Bridge. Here, on the side of the road, you will find several rocks, and if you watch them from the road, they will point you to the dream culture tree, that is the biggest brown colored one in the middle of white colored. The seventh is not far from Valentine, to the east, above the citadel rock location. Here you will see two similar trees that are close to the train track above the road cliff. On one of them you will find the dream coachers. The eighth is sud S from Valentine between the N and the E letters of New Hanover text on the map. This one is in the middle of the small forest near the train track. So, if you have hard time to find it, uh, use dead eye, this way it will be highlighted. The ninth, the eighth is above the end letter in the Heartland text. 
This one is easy to find because it's the only tree around this area. The tenth is to the sud from Emerald Ranch and on the left from Blue Water Marsh. Here you will find a bear tree near the road. Not far from it you will find the dream culture tree that if a leafless one. The eleventh is upside the bee in the Blue Water Marsh text in the top edge of the triangle formed by roads and train track. The dream cultures is uh, on the small but larger tree uh, with a lot of leaves. The twelfth is Sudes from Emerald Ranch below the crossroad. You can recognize the right tree because it's the biggest and the most beautiful in the area. Plus, it is loneliness. The third is northwest from Emerald Ranch under Northland Overflow Tax in the map. Here you will find three trees in a row, one bigger than another. The middle one is a dream coach's holder. The fourteenth is northeast from Emerald Ranch inside the O letter from a new Hanover text in the map. This one is harder to find, so maybe it's a good way to use the dead eye. But you can recognize it because it's the biggest one in the area. The 15th is far northwest from Emerald Ranch, near the last E from New Hanover text and under the Elysian Pool. This one is slightly hard to find. But to help your orientation, on the cliffside you will find a big dark colored boulder, near which you will find the dream culture tree. In case you have some troubles to find it, I remember that you can use the eye in order to spot it easier. The 16th is northeast from Elysian Pool and below the Ansbrook text in the map. Here you can find a small burned forest on the side of the road, while on the opposite side there is a dream culture's tree. The 17th is slightly below the letter of Ansbrook text in the map. This one is on the edge of a cliff and is a white colored tree in the middle of classical wood colored one. The 18th is uh, exactly above the second and letter in the Annisburg text in the map. This one is easy to spot because it is nearby the crossroad plus is the only one that is leafless. The 19th is on the north from Annisburg text nearby the Kamasa River. This one is a harder to notice, but if you was able to spot near the road a border that raises from the ground, you will see that it pointing at the dream culture tree. The 20th and the last one is northwest from Annisburg and northeast from letter O of the Ambarino text in the map. Here you can find a watchtower on a cliff, at the foot of which you can find the dream culture tree that can be recognized because it's only leafless and a buried tree. Once you get them all, Arthur will draw in his diary a bison using a dream culture's location. Inside the drawing, where must be the bison's nose, you will notice a X sign. On the map, you can see that this location is the Elysian Pool. Means that it's time to discover the secret and complete the mission. To do so, get to the Elysian Pool waterfall and enter inside it. Here you will find a cave. Inside which I suggest you to use your lantern, because if it's night you can't see where to go. Here you have just to follow the orange water. Careful, at the entrance to not fall down. First go to the left and you will get inside a cave huge area. Here if you go to the right you get in another tunnel that have nothing inside. While if you get to the left, you will notice a wall painting that you have to reach and interact with, in order to conclude the mission. 
Once examined the wall, you have to move away and come back near the eye of the bison. Now you will be allowed to interact again, collecting the ancient arrowhead. You may say at this point, uh, wait a minute. And what if I know the location of the cave and come to take directly the unique item without collecting all dream cultures? To answer this question, I did it for you and find that you can collect the answered arrowhead only if you finish the quest. Oh, I forgot, careful. Do not sell it for mistake to the fence vendor. In this case, it will give only $10 if you do so. I hope I was useful to you and this guide helps you to enhance your game. If you want more video about the tips and tricks for hunting, you will find more in the first end card.